Here's a video to talk about how do you find a linear regression model using the calculator. We go through this in class. We have a reference sheet, a handout that's given in class so you can follow along with the steps. But even with all that, I know sometimes when you go to do it on your own, it's easy to f forget different steps and different buttons you hit. So hopefully going through this will remind you of all the buttons that we used in order to find a regression model for a set of data and then to also use that regression model to make a prediction. So here's our problem we have which gives a table, and the table is representing the average heights of children ranging in ages from 1 to 10. And we're going to use our calculator to not only get a regression model, but also see what the scatter plot looks like so we can see what type of relationship the data has, if any, and then use the calculator to help us figure out wh what the prediction would be for a height of someone that is 12 years old if it continues to follow this linear pattern. So the first thing you need to do with these problems is make sure your calculator is ready to input your data. So when you look at your calculator, you want to go and enter your list. So here's our calculator. What, to enter the list, you want to go to the stat menu. And in the stat menu, you want the very first one, which is edit. And this is going to allow you to edit the lists that are there or input new lists if you have nothing there. When you look at this list, they might be completely empty. Uh, L1 and L2 should be the headings that you see. If your lists are empty, you're ready to start inputting your data. If your lists contain values that are not what you want to be putting in, then you need to replace them. You can either type right over. So if I want to change this 1 to a different number, I can make it a 5 and hit Enter, and it would change. Your other option, if you want to completely delete a list, you cannot hit the delete button. It will erase everything, including the column. What you want to do instead is go onto the heading. So in case, this case, L1, hit the clear arrow, cl clear button, and the down arrow. Clear and then down. And what that will do is it will get rid of the numbers that are in there and allow you to input new numbers. As you can see, I've already put the data in to save a little bit of time. So you see in L1, I've entered all of the ages. So a lot of times it's either going to be presented with two different data types, in this case, age and height. You're going to put that top line in as your L1, and you're going to put the bottom line in as your L2. It may also present it, be presented as X's and Y's. Your X's should be your L1, and your Y's should be your L2. So if you look at the data, going all the way down, a couple things that just checked to troubleshoot if you're having an issue, make sure that every data has a pair. It is not just something in L1 versus L2. If you enter one and then don't put its corresponding value in the other column, it will give you an error when you go to, to look at this data. So that's the first thing you want to make sure. Input your data. So take some time now, go through, and enter, enter all your data. Once your data is entered, we want to take a look at the data. So here's where we have to do a couple things in our calculator to make sure it's ready to look at these plots. Hit the Y equals button in the top left-hand corner of your calculator, and we're going to turn on our scatter plots. On the top, you see lines that say plot 1, plot 2, plot 3. Right now, they are not highlighted, meaning they are off. So when you go to graph, you're going to see a basic XY graph. If you go on top of the plot using the up arrow and hit Enter, you have highlighted. Essentially what you're doing is turning on your plots. Now when you don't want to look at a scatter plot anymore, you need to then turn off your plot. When I want to look at the graph, if I just take graph right now, it's going to show me a basic 10 by 10 window. I want to look at the data that's been put in, so I'm going to zoom into that data. So I'm going to hit the zoom button, which is right in the middle top row. And you want to do, in the statistics, you can either go scroll down, it is the ninth one, or you can just hit a 9 if you remember that that's where it's at. It's called Zoom Stat. And what it does is it zooms into the statistics that you entered. If you do another problem a few minutes from now, you're going to have to re-zoom to look at that data, because its data might have different types of numbers than this one. So here's our data. And what I can see is there is a direct relationship, a direct correspondence between this data. As the age is getting up, going up, the height is going up. So you can see that direct relationship. You can also see that if you drew a line of best fit, it would have a positive slope. To find that line of best fit, we're going to go to the stat menu again, same menu we used before. But this time I want to go over one to the calculate menu. So use your right arrow to calculate. You're looking for the fourth one down that says linear regression. It says linreg, that stands for linear regression. You can either go down or just hit a number four. It's going to just double check that everything's the way you want it, that your x's are what you entered in L1, your y's are what you entered in L2. Everything should be fine there, so you will just have to enter multiple times until you get down to calculate and enter one more time. What it's going to give you is it's going to give you the basic form of a linear model, which is ax plus b, similar to what we think of as mx plus b, and then it's going to tell us what are the values for a and b. So when we write our answer, what we're writing 
for our linear model is that y equals, and then we're entering our a value, so 6.630. Try to go out three decimal places to keep as accurate as you can, plus my b value, which is 71.5333. That is called your linear regression model. It's what you thought of in Algebra 1 as your line of best fit. Now, if you want to actually see the line show up on your calculator, this takes some more calculator steps. To have that show up on my calculator, you're going to go to your y equals. Make sure that your y equals are all currently empty. That's why we didn't see any lines before on our scatter plot. You want to be in the first slot where I am, and you want to go to the variables button. It says VARS, V-A-R-S. You want to go to the fifth one down that says statistics. Go two columns over to the column that says EQ for equation. And the very first one is for regression equation. Hit enter. And it will put the whole thing in there. All we're seeing is the very end. But if we hit the graph button, now we have our line going through. So you can see the line of best fit. Finally, if you want to use the line of best fit, this one said, what would the height be of a 12-year-old? One option is, by hand, it won't be quite as accurate, is to enter a 12 in where you see an X. So take your value times 12 plus 71.533 and get an answer. If you want to keep the accuracy and not, not round it to a couple digits, you can have the calculator do it for you with that line. What you're going to do, first of all, the number that you're plugging in for x has to be in the window. If you're not sure what the window is, hit the window button. And you'll notice that right now the biggest x value, and that's your ages, is 10.9. So it's only going to allow you to make a prediction up to 10.9. If I increase it, go down to the x max and make it 13. Make it at least hold what you want, and you want to have, be able to put 12 in. And now hit graph. It just expands your window slightly. You can hardly tell the difference. Finally, to plug that value in, we've done this a little bit in class, you want to go to second and trace. That gives you the calculate menu. The very first one says value. That's what we want. We want to plug in a value for x. The value that we want to plug in is a 12. In the lower right hand corner of your calculator, it will give you the corresponding y. So what that's telling me is using this model, the height of a 12 year old should be 151.09 six or between zero nine seven if you round it up centimeters. So we'd write that answer of a height of one hundred and fifty one point zero nine seven. A little more accurate than if you would have just used the model that we wrote down and put the 12 in. It allows uh, the calculator to keep all those decimals so you're not chopping them off and slightly changing your answer. So that is how you enter data. That's how you find your line of best fit, how you take a look at the data and the line of best fit, and then how you use that line to make a prediction for other information.